So it was recently revealed that Hideo Kojima, one of the greatest game creators of all time, has partnered up with Microsoft to create a unique experience, a brand new game. But they didn't announce anything. But it does get a lot of people excited, and there's a reason why people are reacting this way about it. Oh my god! Wow! Oh, 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 they did it! <laughs> Crazy <laughs> sons of bitches. Never seen before. Oh my god! So the man behind the Metal Gear series and also the recent outing of Death Stranding has now come to Xbox to create a brand new unique experience said to utilize cloud gaming, which Microsoft has put a lot of investment and time into making that product and that side of gaming a much more viable product. And though they didn't announce anything for this reveal, though it does seem like online there are some hints to some thing out there that will seems to be some type of a horror game that Kojima is working on right now. This article written up by Tom Henderson, known and credible gaming insider news guy, said that Hideo Kojima's new horror game is dubbed Overdose. Saying that early footage that has been sent out to me under a, the request of anonymity seems to show Mama from Death Stranding wearing a blue dress. The game, however, does not appear to be Death Stranding 2, which actually was recently just kind of leaked out by Norman Reedus that they're in work with that as well, and just features the actress who portrayed Mama, Margaret Qualley, if I pronounced that correctly. Continuing on saying that the footage shows the character walking through a dark corridor with a flashlight in third person, but it's been suggested that the game can be played in first person too. A jump scare at the end of the footage shows Game Over, followed by a Hideo Kojima game, Overdose. Now you might think, okay, well it's just some guy on the internet saying something. But that's Tom Henderson though. His whole thing about having a presence online is being a bit of a gaming insider. And if he lacks credibility, well that kind of destroys his whole online presence. So when Tom Henderson says something, it's best to listen. Also with the nature of leaks, it's important to kind of understand the general idea of what they're trying to accomplish with something rather than specific details. But this seemed very detail oriented what Tom was saying about the you know, people from Death Stranding being part of the game, wearing a blue dress, dark corridors, you know, jump scare at the end saying game over with the overdose overlay on top of that. So it does sound like he literally saw something that is involving this game. Now, this does seem like, okay, it's just leaks and whatever, but it seems like Kojima's company didn't really like that leak because Tom Henderson replied to his own tweet saying that the report is temporarily down and has been small additions and updates have been made to it because the Kojima Productions have since asked the publication of this report to be removed, which he then declined this report as well. So this what makes it a little bit more credible when it comes to what this Kojima and Xbox putting together. Like of course during the presentation they were saying this is like the biggest, most expansive, crazy new game you've never experienced before. Like a lot of game companies say that just to kind of get you excited and interested in their product. But this one with Hideo Kojima, who's a literal visionary when it comes to game creations, I would say this provides a little more validity to what their statements were saying. And saying that this horror game looks like will involve cloud games in some capacity, which would be completely revolutionary to the entire horror genre when it comes to games. Now, how will Kojima and Xbox utilize cloud gaming? Well, there's multiple ways to go about doing it, but we'll just have to wait and see to get some actual concrete details or some more information from these node insiders about this kind of stuff, but it does seem very interesting. If Kojima's involved with it, it's best to keep an eye on it. But if you're new to the channel, make any content from your recent check out my gaming news and informational videos right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.